Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone? <laughs> no self-respect in five just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. That on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, they called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, he handed you the Varello case. 
Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, if you want money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. Your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed the heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Do they? 
Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. With the effort, Polly. Or he knows more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. Money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out.
After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Hurry! I have an appointment. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. fair. Hotel, please. I have an important meeting. Sure you do. Inside the hotel, please.
Thank you. Not a problem, sir. Gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. <laughs> Taking some time. You just drove straight over that poor bastard. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first.
Knock it off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> Better find a new fare. so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw them before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? Have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I'll spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Since five, what's your excuse? Moose. Figures. 
Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. The only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yeah, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much locking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him.
this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Ferrieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My Cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. You hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful. Okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Born as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... Think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? 
We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Find anything good? Yeah, I... I'm watching you. Got it? I get it. Yeah, Is that sister, recording? Ah, uh, see, si. see. Si. Come back later with Polly or Sammy. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Bullshit day. You like this? It's more where it came from. Sounds grateful for you. What we're grateful for is dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back north. Who's this guy? Polly, he with you? Yep. Okay. If the Don wants to do this again, we can meet out of town. Someplace there's no heat. That'd be good. Drove into the city this morning. Thought I saw cops on every corner. I know a place. Yeah, we know a bunch of places. gonna sing <laughs> who's this then Vinny it's here's Tommy Angelo we're doing a little job together all right good good hey you just need bean shooters or ruts nah we just need something to write off a few cars huh oh I got just the thing this classic should do the trick <laughs> oh! if the bat don't work out for use I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. You can look around, sure, but nothing leaves the room. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to her. But I'm telling you.
A genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> the fuck, you, Papali? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Show sure, 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 up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yeah, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but... Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Who us? You got a line in the good stuff. That's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. We don't need the attention. Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot.
boss to send us out on our chops. Yeah, he's got his main guys. He'll get there someday. Talking about. Now let's get to these cars. Take it back and start swinging. Some kind of death wish? <laughs> You know this is Dino's car. I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep. Report the burning vehicle Mash the window, fire and we can take it. It's right here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bull show. Don't let him get away. Drive. Oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. 
Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. You've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in the yard behind a bar joined with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother, who are young. <gasps> oh, some guys? Sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlos, pop one way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. to the c car I sent you out with. Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. <laughs> 